must tell you, I am so excited for you and Golden Gate. I went to Golden Gate National Park. You and you've got to stop off there. You've got to go and do a hike there. And you've got to go and do abseiling there as well. There's so much to do. But you know what? It's not up to me to suggest. It's up to you to suggest what you and should do. So let us know at Expresso Show with the hashtag, it's here. Now, talking about you and he met up with washing expert, Ethne Whiteley, to find out more about sunlight dishwashing liquids, power of washing up, and you and learned a trick or two. Let's find out more. Lasts four weeks longer than leading competitors. Family gatherings and entertaining friends test the true cleaning power of your dishwasher. Ethne Whittle shares efficiency tips to help you get the most out of your machine. Ethne, today we are talking dishwashers, washing dishes 101. Now I know a lot of people are scared to use dishwashers because they fear it uses way too much water. You know, that's so wrong. In fact, they are incredibly water efficient. For a full load in your dishwasher, you're using 15 to 20 litres of water. In fact, some machines actually use less than that. Now compare that to the same amount of dishwashing you would be doing by hand in your sink and actually your, your consumption of water is minuscule in your dishwasher. But you get other advantages as well because they wash at temperatures that we could not possibly immerse our hands in so things are really cleaned. So how do you go about using a dishwasher properly? First of all, every dishwasher will come with a manual, so it's important that you look at your manual to actually see exactly what the programs are and what you have available for you. Essentially what you need to do is to get to know how to load your machine. In the top you put your less dirty things, so here you would put your cups, your glasses, maybe your dessert bowls. At the bottom drawer you would place your things that are dirtier, obviously, because down here you have better heat and you have a more vigorous water action. So these would be your dinner plates, it would be your casserole dishes, etc. And this is your cutlery basket. Now into the cutlery basket you would sort your cutlery, so, and it's as neat as that. You've got a couple of different products here, take me through them. Powder is the standard product, and then there is the tablets. Now really it's, it's a personal choice. And then your rinse aid works at the end of the wash, it just takes all the detergent off the dishes and then allows them to dry sparkling clean without any spots or streaks. Today's dishwashers are amazing at removing food residue without the need to pre-wash your dishes. Only scrape off the biggest pieces of food debris and let the machine do the rest. And I want to ask you a couple of viewers questions and the first one being from a lady and she asked, I inherited some knives and forks with either bone or ivory on them. Can I use them in the dishwasher? No, no, you can't actually. And the reason for that is that you've got two different types of materials which are joined together. And what happens in the heat of the dishwasher is that you'll get an expansion of the, of the metal and that could crack or distort the um, ivory or, or the bone. So it's not a good idea. I'm afraid those are a hand wash. Another question, and uh, she asked, since I have started to use a dishwasher, I find that my glasses go milky. What is causing this? Unfortunately, glass is a very soft substance. If you were washing at very high temperatures, over a period of time, the glass does go milky. So the idea there is always to choose your lowest temperature program on your dishwasher and your shortest wash for your glass. Fantastic. Now, another question from a gentleman this time, and he asked, should I put frying pans and pots into my dishwasher? Yes, absolutely, you should. And you would use your lower rack because that is where the heat and the water pressure is greatest. And always remember that with bowls, etc., you turn them upside down. You don't put them right side up because you don't want the water to be caught in them. You actually want it to be swished around them. Other tips are to place a slice of lemon in a muslin cloth in the machine, replacing it every few cycles. Also, leave the door ajar after every wash for the machine to dry. So what would be your top dishwashing tip for the day? Well, you know, we often get asked, can we wash sort of delicate bone china with gilt trim um, in your dishwasher? And the answer to that is no. Very, very delicate bone china should be washed by hand and very carefully, particularly to protect that gilt trim. Your dishwasher can save you up to three weeks' time over the course of a year, so it's worth taking great care of. Lasts four weeks longer than leading competitors. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.